Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Enigmatic 6 server, hanging out here at my occultism area, and, and there's been a few updates here. Uh, for example, this you can see this little area here. It, everything that wasn't needed, I took off the, the, the deep slate and replaced it with the uh, marble, and I did that with a bunch of these other ones. So they're a little bit slow, uh, smaller over here, but uh, you can see where they bump out a little bit more. You know, they're they're a little bit different, add a little bit more. This is new. This is freaking huge. <laughs> we'll get to them. Uh, so I actually had to uh, bump out this area to make it fit. It's big. It's really big. All right. So and I still have two slots available and I, I, I may actually get to those. But I do have a plan because people could be asking, gee, Grok, why are you going into occultism when you've got a whole many other things that you could be doing? Two answers real simple for that. One, I wanted to, and it's a new mod and I've not played with it before. And two, I really want some storage. I really, really, really want some storage and this will do it for me. In fact, if we go here, take a look at the quests, scroll down to occultism. The thing I'm looking for is this, the dimensional storage actuator. And then you can sit there and beef up the size on that, uh, plus a storage accessory. You know, that's mainly what I'm focusing on is this bit. Maybe that, eh, I may do that after, off screen. But, you know, this is definitely what I'm, I'm looking at doing. So if we look at this, uh, the dimensional storage actuator needs a base and a crystal. Well, if we look at the crystal, that needs Strigiers, Strigiers, uh, higher binding, whatever, uh, with a gin. And the base needs a Vesius's spectral compulsion with a foliate. And this other word, other or other stone pedestal. Well, let's do this. So I've got uh, two pedestals here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then you are a foliate and you are some iron. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh those down there and one of these pedestals oh good it only took the one yeah that's what i'm looking for and i'm gonna put the foliate in there and that should yep purple particles okay so this should get me the the, the bottom piece the actuator base now i'm gonna go ahead and start the top of the crystal matrix and that's needs steers higher binding yes that's not here that's over here Yes, Stringer's higher is binding. Okay, so uh, that's what I will do. And uh, let's look at the recipe again. I believe, whoops, no, it's this one. Uh, yes, it's the blocks of quartz. So I'm hoping I have everything prepared here. Not always am I prepared, but we'll uh, give this a go. Uh, we need that. Do you need four or five? I thought it was just four items. Yeah, it's just the four items plus that. Okay, let's go ahead and put... There's the gin, and that will start purple particles, purple particles. Okay, let's come over here. I figured might as well use that time. This should spit out the base part as soon as it's done. This is the part where it gets done. <laughs> Yay, there's the base. Uh, we got a lot of chat flying on on the server because we've been talking about uh, new jobs and stuff like that. So that, that's been working out really well. You're really slow. <laughs> very, very slow. All right. So while that's crafting there, and that should get me the dimensional storage actuator. And once I've got that, that'll open up this. And that will get me a dimensional storage stabilizer, which is really cool. And I don't want to have to craft it myself because lazy. There we go. It finally went. These are so, oh, I was going to see if I could speed things up with this. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, just right click. Oh, no, 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 no. I lost the block. Okay. Don't right click. Can I shift right click? Yes, I can shift right click. That's what I needed to do is the shift. Well, I need to get some quartz. Let's go home. Uh, let's go get some quartz. And we'll pretend that I never did that. All right. Oh, where's we four? All right, let's head home. Or not home, but no. Oh, dang it. As I did the, the home twice, I can't do it back. Let's uh, zip up here. All right. 
flawlessly done with no mistakes whatsoever. Just perfectly in every way. Let's get this done. So you did that. Drop you here. Put you back in there. Put you back in there. We get the purple particles. There's the purple particles. All right, I'm going to... Yes, it does work. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, I am going to use this. I don't think I need to go all the way up to 256. That's that's much higher than I've, I've expected. Okay, uh, so you and you should make me the storage actuator. Quest complete. Now, the nice thing about the storage actuator, if we just drop that down and you look at it, you can put stuff in here. I've got 128 items I can put in. And some of the stuff that I can put in, I mean, again, first time doing this. So I don't know what the sizes of the stack that I can put in, but I can sit there and say, you go in there and I've got an item and you go in there. Now I've got two items, but I can also go, let's, oh, here, turn off the construction mode. Let's grab some, say, end stone. <laughs> That's a whole lot of end stone. And let's dump that in there so that entire stack just counts as one but if i dump in a lot okay so now i've got 2k in there well okay i've got 1700 in there and it counts as three so maybe it's a thousand I'd, I'd have to play but that's really cool and i've got the ability to do some crafting in here that's this de definitely is crafting processing I don't know i'll have to figure it out because i haven't done that before Ooh. Ah, i'm gonna remove this for right now i don't care about the the i i can i can lose the end stone i don't care but let's go ahead and break this got that back let's place it down in a different spot and it keeps the inventory oh hey, very nice okay i'm going to keep you thank you very much Let's turn in this quest because I want a storage stabilizer. And this, if we look at the quest, uh, let's do epic loot. What did it? Oh, wow, it gave me two of these. Oh, for an ass. Uh, because if I close out of this one, uh, this will give me a third. I was going to craft that. Let's do this loot box. Okay, that's not that, that much, but. The reason why this, I was excited about this, let me show you. If I put it down right here, and we've got uh, 128, I'll take the, steer, the storage one, and if I put it against that wall, so it's facing in. Oh, I've got to update now. You should. You should be updating this. Let's uh, click 128, 128. Why you no know update? It should be updating. That should make the the size of my storage better. I'm adding, removing stuff. Oh, that's interesting. That 16. That's two, and as soon as I add that back in, it goes to three. So there's, it may be, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the, the number is. That's the magic number, but you're supposed to do that. What if I put you up here? Will you, yes, yes. Okay. So it looks like it needs to be up on this piece here. So uh, this one is doing nothing. And uh, did you see the size? 640 items. Let's put the uh, one back in. And it's still 640 items. How'd that? Oh, because I need to pull in and push out and that updates. From what I understand, that means there's not a massive server tick every time saying, how much do I have? How much do I have? I don't know. Uh, let's update. So it went from 128 to 384, which is pretty nice. Let's um, put a block right there. And if I take, I just have the one. And I put this guy in here and we update, it adds. So if I take you and put the tier two in place and look, update, yes. See, it's even very nice. 
So that's what I'm looking for, having a very nice, uh, a, a really nice amount of storage for this. And I thought I could have six around this, but I'm only seeing maybe five. Let's see, can I put, you know, can I, I wonder, can I put anything underneath you? Let's go underneath, break that. And if I put that there, 15, it does. Okay, so I can put it underneath. Cool, and that still allows me to access the base, even if I've got the top all covered up. All right, okay. That's very handy. And that's, let's repair this, because that's just going to bug me if I don't. Uh, okay, so this is, this is exactly why I want to have these pieces done. All right. So I was going to do a tier two. Now to do that, I need two of these Spirit Attuned Gems. I need a tier one dimensional storage stabilizer and a gin with silver. And, and you can see I've got that ready right here. I don't need to do that because I can just go straight to the tier three because now I've got a tier two dimensional stabilizer. Got three of them. But uh, let's take that, take that and stay those. No, I just need one. Thank you. Uh, this I'm going to upgrade. Now, if we look at this, this says I need Severa's permanent confinement and all of these bits. Oh, oh. And if we look at the center, that's the Afrit. So uh, let's go over to here. This is Severa's permanent confinement. And uh, let's grab these bits, 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 bits. Okay, so I need to put a tier two down and the attuned crystal down, and then these two bits, and that bit there, and then the Afrit hook down. Oh, I've got to craft it first. Never mind. All right, so now it's bound to an Afrit, and now I can put it down. Unknown ritual? Let's look at this again. Tier three. I need a tier two. Yes. Uh, so this will make the tier. I block a gold, nether star, spirit attuned crystal. That's the spirit attuned crystal. Yes, that's the spirit attuned crystal. Um, that's the tier two. That's the tier two. This. Book of Binding Bound to Free. Let's check that one. Uh, bound, yes. Okay. Let's look. Can I? Story, let's look. No. All right. Let's look at the book. Because obviously there's something it needs. Uh, this is through permanent confinement. And that's just the storage stabilizer tier three. Climate, Book of Binding of Free Bound, yes. That, Gold Block, Nether Star. Uh, that to me looks like it's correct. Make sure the pentacle ingredients are set up correctly. Uh, I wonder if that's not what it likes. Nope. All right, let's, obviously the, uh, it doesn't like this, so let's visualize and right click there. There's something missing. Do you see that? 52 out of 53 items. Okay. What is missing? Ah, <gasps> right there, right there. Do you see that? Okay. Okay. I, um, yeah, that makes me glad to, to realize that it, uh, I had actually made a goof. There's the happy ding of happiness. All right. Yes, Grok did it. Um, okay. So now I should be able to put in the Afrit. And this should be safe, he said, without really knowing, because it keeps warning about how the Afrits are really, really mean. Particles are coming down faster. So this definitely looks like it's going faster. So I'm a lack on this a whole lot. Okay, 
Give me my, my tier three. Any second now. Yay! Oh, very nice, very nice. Now, if I look at the quest, the quest keeps giving me additional ones. So it's going to give me a second tier three, which I think is super nice. And I don't think it's the sign that was the problem. It was that missing piece. Oh, because I put the sign there, it broke that. That's got to be what it is. Okay, I, I, I do want to sign on there. Do I have any of these other? No, see, that's a way. And that's a way. And that's above the skull. Okay, so I just need to remember to put the sign back so I know what on earth I'm doing uh, later. All right, because typing on screen. So the next thing I need to do is I need to make the steer four. You fixies inverted tower. <laughs> and as you can see, that's a quite involved setup. So I used all four of my chalk types. I think that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one that needed the red. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Elbitzos for this. I needed the dragon head and these bits here. And let's just drop them in. And move you out of the way. Thank you very much. And then you need a block of Aeznium. Aeznium or Aeznium? I don't know. And then, then I need a tier three. Three. Go ahead and put that there. And then I need a book of binding merit merit, which I need to update. There we go. Now the thing that when I was reading in this, uh looking at the books, books spirits, uh books of binding, when I was it was talking about the merit, it was like you watch out these things are really scary and i'm going okay but if they're doing all this work for me how scary are they i will back up a little bit just in case it uh, summons that like the the afrit with all the, the the blazes coming along with it but this should give me my tier four it did all right yes so i successfully bound him and now I have uh, this uh, tier four. And if we go to the quest, uh, tier three, oh, let's just grab that, those bits and grab this. I get a second tier four and legendary loot. Let's go for the legendary. What did we get? A whole bunch more uh, easy, uh, which is which is grand. But now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And nothing else. Oh, okay, so I do have six of these, and they all go around, which makes me think that's exactly what I need. All right, let's take that, uh, just that in there. I wanted to make one other thing. Let's make this the storage accessor. Okay, that's Stringer's Higher Binding. I need to make that beastie. So for that, let's come over here. If that does what I hope it will do, it will allow me to access my inventory remotely, which is mighty nice. So that's the other stone slab. And then I need, boop, 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 and then some buttons. And to me, that, that counts like nine buttons, and I only added five, but it's check. <laughs> okay, so that comes over here. Now let's confirm. Uh, Stringer's higher binding. Uh, pearl, pearl, and nether. So that's not it. Here we go. Pearl, pearl. And that's the, so let's put you down. Uh, let's see. Pearl, pearl. Uh, nether, right? Rain like a sip. Okay, so it's just the four pieces, even though Strigiers has, has four on there. And I need that. And then this is a gin. Uh, let's put you in here. Toot. And you go there, and purple particles. Nope. Oh, there's the purple particles. All right. Let's speed this up. I'm so glad. No. Because that way, it means I don't have to cut the video. And since I, I've made absolutely zero mistakes in this video so far, I don't have to edit out any of those sort of things, which is very nice. Uh, let's take a look at this quest. Uh, epic loot box. What do we get? Epic, epic. Elder World Sapling. 
Epic. <laughs> so that's grand. Let's put you away. Uh, I have a few. I'm going to put you away. I'm going to take all this uh, stuff in a bit. Uh, why do I have a second Otherworld pedestal? There was something else that I needed. Storage, storage. Oh, because I was going to actually make a tier one pedestal. So um, evidently, nope. Not happening. Uh, although what's really cool about these. Let's go ahead and place this. Get out of my inventory. There we go. Let's put that there. And why don't you sit on top? Nope. <laughs> okay, I thought it would be something I could uh, put stuff on top of, but um, survey says no. All right, so uh, this, uh, I want to take this away from here, and uh, let's take it to the base. Because I would like to have, yep, you can see I've spotted a little spot for it right here. Boink. Okay, so... Uh, and I can access it 128. How much does the tier four give? Let's find out. Okay, 128. Ooh, <laughs> 4,000. <laughs> That's a lot of objects. Okay, I'm very happy to have that. Uh, in fact, uh, now you're up to 8,000 objects. Let's take the tier three. And oh, yes, I need this here. We need something there. We need something there. Something there. And a cough. <laughs> ah, where did that come from? Okay, let's take the three and put that there. And then we're going to take the two twos. Some there. And then the one I have is going to go underneath. All right. Get rid of you and you. And I'm not even looking at how much is in there right now. Except now I will. <laughs> 11,000 items. That makes me very happy because I think at this point I can pretty much take all my stuff and dump it in there. So if I right click. Nope. Crouch right click. Ah, yep. Link storage remote to actuator. So now if I right click this, I've accessed it. Let's uh, go back. So now I am far, far away. Uh, I, I haven't looked. I should take a look and see because uh, I'm far, far away. If I look at my waypoints, uh, I've got a base. Let's turn that on. <laughs> I'm only 167,000 blocks away from home. <laughs> The, the, the random teleports around here, <laughs> they are random and huge. All right, so I can access everything. I can access everything. This is so cool. Okay, you can go in here, and I'm going to take all of you stuff, and you can go into here, because I no longer need to keep you separate. I can break you and let's grab these items. I'm going to leave that there because that's what I do. Uh, I'm going to leave these items here because I was going to use them, but I don't. However, I do have some additional uh, sides that I can upgrade. Nope, 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 nope. Come back here, gang. You're, you're mine. But you can go and you go in there. Oh, I have storage. I have... So nice. Now, one of the things, let's go home. Home. Uh, one of the things that I've been dying to do is take a lot of this random crap and stuff. There's my mobs. Here's a bunch of trees and stuff because that's all cool. Just various random things that I picked up as I've gone hunting. This is my, my end chest. All this sort of stuff I want to start storing so I can stop putting horse armors and saddles and whatnot on the walls. I can come in and I can take all my ores. Let's take all my ores at this point and uh, dump them into the system because why the heck not? Um, you know, I think I might as well 
because of size, I might as well take the blocks of stuff and time in a bottle. How are we sorting? Sort by amount. No, sort by names. Names make sense. Sort ascending. So E S B that does not make sense. <laughs> sort by item name, mod name, amount. No, item name. Why is E coming before S? Makes sense. Before B? No. Uh, okay, I I I am at a loss as to how this is being organized. Unless it's looking at Perch Sign Spirit Gem. No. I I don't understand it. But I can search for things. Not gold. Gold, there we go. Uh, because you know, that gives me two well, these three things, that's three different items being used. I don't care. I, I was thinking I could convert all the gold down into just the, the ingots. And then I realized, I don't care. I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of space. So I frankly just don't care. I'm not going to take all this. Dump it in the system. And uh, you too. Yay. <laughs> it is nice when you can have a good way of just kind of clearing stuff up. I, I still don't get. Although this looks like it's maybe the order in which I dump stuff in I don't get it no I yeah I, I don't get the uh, sort by item name makes sense it's alphabetical where's my A's I should put an apple in there and uh, see what it does because I I just don't get it uh, nope 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 we don't have fruit let's grab some apples apples go in Yeah, this is going in by order. Uh, sort ascending, sort descending. So that's by mod name. That's by amount. All right. Yeah, this this is not by alphabetical. This looks like by when it got dumped in. Well, that's okay. I don't care. I'm going to just take all this stuff and dump it into the system anyway. Item story, finally. Now, I don't know about you, but this makes me super happy to have access to all my stuff. And in a single spot, all this is good. This, I, I have been suffering through all the chests that have been sitting out here. They're all gone. All the chests upstairs on different floors. Uh, I have a few things like uh, the, the stuff there for the Astro Sorcery. That's in a couple chests just because it's, you know, easy to access all the stuff there. And, you know, thinking about it, I could, because I've got everything done here now as far as the actual sorcery stuff that I, I really care about doing, this could get moved to some place because I really don't need it right here. You know, I, I definitely am using the gateway. I'm using that a lot. But, uh, you know, this I kept very open just because I wanted to make it easy to see. But, you know, this this also doesn't need to be here and I can I can put this apart and because I can access my stuff from a distance. <laughs> I don't have to be right here. I can be anywhere, which. Oh, you saw I was 160 some thousand blocks away. I can just do a random teleport and that's my astral sorcery stuff. <laughs> Why not? I can get there. Uh, anyway, so that, that's been fun. It's, having all my bits in a place has been uh, driving me bananas for a while. And I'm looking at this and I was thinking, you know, I've got two fours. I could upgrade all of these to fours. It means killing the dragon a couple times. But then I looked at this and I said, I've got 11,000 still free, more or less. I don't need to upgrade this anymore. I'm really good. Now, I do want to make, uh, let's take a look in here. This, the stable wormhole. This allows you to pipe stuff in and out. I'm wondering how well this will work because you make one, you get a second one. Yay. Does this work with something like... Um, find storage 
or storage drawers? I don't know. I think it, it really might. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking if I were to set this up and I don't know if this would work with storage drawers, but it would certainly work with refined storage. But I, mean, I, I really don't need to do the refined storage for a while because I've got this and it looks really good. <laughs> it works really well. So I, I do need to do a few more things uh, here quest wise to kind of clear up, complete this up. And um, you, just because that's going to be fun. And I'm not sure if I'm going to show the rest of the stuff. Uh, just because seeing how it goes, it, it's pretty much you, you figure out what you need. You need this uh, specific foliage. You need that lumberjack. You need the, the uh, ritual set up in place. You need to put the sacrifices on there. Go. And you got it. So I'm, I, I don't think I will actually go beyond that. Uh, at least showing it off. I'm going to go complete, complete that. Now, then comes the question, what do I do? Now that I've got occultism, I think I, I will get that one completed first. Uh, what else do I jump into next? I, you know, right off the top of my head, I'm not sure. There, uh, no, I, I do have an idea as to what I, where I want to go for a specific reason. But if if you have a, a mod here that you think is fantastic that you'd love to, to, to see me dive into, definitely let me know in the comments. And it'll probably happen after I, I get my one thing I wanted to get done. <laughs> Just to tease that. Anyway, uh, Occultism, it's got not a super difficult, really good storage stuff. Now, part of it here is in the pack. I got a double of everything that I made, which really, really helped, plus um, a couple extras just from uh, the, the, the request rewards, the, the random quest rewards. So that made this really, really quick and easy to get to the point where I think I'm done until I want to complete the other you know quest chains out there. But I like it. I like it a lot. And it's been fun. And I'm going to do some more. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here in a brand new day on the FTOG Enigmatica 6 ser server. And thanks for watching.